Hello everyone and welcome. I am Ruby. I'm your host, Ruby and Moon. And today we are doing another Perry Jackson video. Uh, we're going to cover a couple of things um, that Rick has posted. So we're going to go over the Mother's Day thing and then we're going to go over the Leo Dreyfus thing. So let's get into it. So we're going to read this post. Uh, so, you know, they've been kind of pushing this, but this is the more important part. My first week at the studios. What a week it has been. I have to say it's strange reporting for a nine to five job for the first time in 20 years. I thought I would be semi-retired by now, going back to school to get my PhD. Instead, I am working harder than ever. This marked my first full week on site as executive producer for the Percy Jackson and Olympian C for, per for the Percy Jackson and the Olympians TV show. My experience has already been incredible. Unless you work in the industry, you would not believe how many people it takes to create a television show. Several times a day, we will be sitting in a boardroom with 20 folks with a dozen more joining on Zoom just to figure out how to film a five minute sequence in one episode. What cameras do we use? What stunts are required? What equipment do we need? What is CGI and what will be live? Fortunately, I do not have to make all those sorry. Fortunately, I don't know how I don't have to know all those answers. I'm gonna zoom in here. We have an A plus team of experts doing the math and physics behind getting these scenes right. I am there for the big picture stuff. How it should it feel? How was it done in the books? How are the characters reacting? That kind of stuff. It has been a special thrill work watching our director, James Bobin, lead this amazing production. His vision and his sense of humor are perfect for Percy Jackson. I also got to tag along on a scouting visit this week, we, where we all climb aboard a shuttle bus and investigate sites around the Great Vancouver area, with that might be that might be used in the film in the filming of the of the series. I can't tell you exactly where we went, but if you want a hint, reread the chapter A God Buys Us Cheeseburgers in The Lightning Thief. You also wouldn't believe how quickly our young trio of heroes has co coalesced into a team. They are doing high-flying stunts, learning their swordplay fine-tuning their knowledge of Greek mythology and their characters, all while going to, to school on site at the studios. And of course, they have found the best snacks in the break room. If you want to know where the best snacks are, ask a middle schooler. They counseled me on trying the deluxe hot chocolate, not the regular stuff, and, they dry, and the dry seaweed uh, packets which are delicious. A certain very funny kid may or may not have quipped, hey, my head is full of that. The feeling in the, in this, in the studio is one of, of joy and excitement. And the cast we have in place is none, nothing less than demigodly. My occasional reminder that I am not on social media and have not been quite and, and had not, sorry, and have not been for quite some time. Becky and Ashley, our social media coordinator, let me know in general terms how things are going, but that's it. I personally no longer read, post, or repost content. I only use this blog to give you all the latest news. Also, please be aware that my comments have been closed on all social media platforms for two years now. This is nothing new and applies to all posts regardless of content. All that said, 
I am delighted to hear about the overwhelmingly positive response to ca- to the casting announcements. It is well founded. Rest assured, these actors are one hundred percent my choices, my decisions, and I could not be happier with how things are going. If you have any doubts, wait until you see them act in the show. You'll quickly see why I chose them and why I'm so confident. Today, I am enjoying the beautiful sunny weekend in Vancouver, but I am looking forward to Monday when I can go back to work. That's a statement you might not hear often, but it should tell you something about how this production is going. Oh, and a cool random fact I came across this weekend while rereading my Greek Greek mythology. For inspiration, I often do this. Going back to the earliest source material and reviewing the seminal works like Joseph Campbell's The Power of Myth and Greg Nagy's The Ancient Greek Hero in 24 Hours, did you know that the gray in gray-eyed... Uh, sorry. Did you know that the gray in gray-eyed Athena doesn't necessarily translate as a color? I, I liked to, the I like the idea of her having uh, stormy gray eyes and always described her that that way in in my books. But the ancient Greek the term, I don't know what that is, can be translated as bright-eyed as in wise or perceptive, and shares a root in, I don't know what that is either, (laughs) which means owl, Athena's sacred bird. In other words, Athena has bright eyes like an owl. Who says they had to be, who says they have to be gray? Not this owl. Enjoy your weekend, sorry, enjoy your week, demigods, and read some Books. So that is what Rick has to say. He's starting production basically and he's getting everything ready to go. Well, actually, technically, they're in pre production. They're almost in production. Uh, J- June is when they start actual production. And then, oh boy, let's get into this one. Leah Jeffries is Annabeth Chase. This is posted today. This is posted today. This post is specifically for those who have a problem with the casting of Leah Jeffries as Annabeth Chase. It's a shame such posts need posts needs to be written, but they do. First, let me be clear: I am speaking here f- only for myself. These thoughts are mine alone; they do not necessarily reflect or represent the opinions of any part of Disney the TV show, the production team, or the Jeffries family. The response to the casting of Leah was, has been overwhelmingly positive and joyous, as it should be. Leah brings so much energy and enthusiasm to this role, so much of Annabeth's strength. She will be a role model for new generations of girls who will, need, who will see in her the kind of hero they want to be. If you have a problem with this casting, however, take it up with me. You have no one else to blame. Whatever else you take from this post, we should be able to agree that bullying and harassing a child online is inexcusably wrong. As strong as Leah is, as much as we have discussed the potential for this kind of reaction and intense pressure this role will bring, the negative comments she has received online are out of line. They need to stop now. I was quite clear a year ago when we announced our first open casting that we would follow would we would be following Disney's company policy on non discrimination. We are committed to diverse inclusive casting for every role please submit qualified performers without regard of disability gender 
race, and ethnicity, age, color, national origin, sexual orientation, gender identity, or any other basis prohibited by law. We did that. The casting process was long, intense, massive, and exhaustive. I have been clear, as the author, that I was looking for the best actors to inhabit and bring to life the personalities of these characters, and that physical appearance was secondary to, for me. We did that. We took a year to do this process thoroughly and find the best of the best. This trio is the best. Leah Jeffries is Annabeth Chase. Some of you apparently felt offended or exasperated when your objections are called out online as racist. But I am not racist, you say. It is not racist to want an actor to be act. For, it is not racist to want an actor who is accurate to the book's description of the character. Let's explain that statement. You're upset, disappointed, frustrated, angry because a black actor has been cast to play a character who is described as white in the books. She doesn't look the way that I that she doesn't look the way I was imagined. You either are not aware or have dismissed Leah's years of hard work honing her craft, her talent, her tenacity, her focus, her, pres her screen presence. You refuse to believe her selection could have been based on merit. Without having seen her play the part, you've prejudged her, pre plus judge is prejudice, and decided she must have been hired simply to fill a quota or tick a diversity box. And by the way, these criticisms have come from across the political spectrum, right and left. You have decided that I couldn't possibly mean what I have always said, that the true nature of the character lies in their personality. You feel I must be must have been coerced, brainwashed, bribed, threatened, whatever, or I, as a white male author, never would have cast so never would have chosen a black actor for the part of this canonically white girl. You refuse to believe me, the guy who wrote the books and created these characters, when I say that these actors are perfect for the roles because of the talent they bring and the way they used, they used their auditions to expand, improve, and electrify the lines they were given once you see Leah as Annabeth. You will become exactly the way she will become the exactly the way you imagine Annabeth. Assuming you give her the ch that chance, but you refuse to credit that this may be true. You are judging her appropriateness for this role solely and exclusively on how she looks. She is a black girl playing someone who was described in the books as white. Friends. That is racism. And before you resort to the old knee-jerk reaction, I am not racist, let's explain that statement too. If I may quote from an excellent recent article in the Boston Globe about Dr. Uh, Kama Ennis, who created a program on explicit or on implicit bias for the, for the Massachusetts Board of Registration for Medicine in Boston to say a person doesn't have bias is to say that person isn't human. It's how we navigate the world based on what we're taught in our own personal histories. The racism slash colorism isn't something we have or don't have. I have it. You have it. We all do. And not just white people like me. 
all people. It's either something we recognize and try to work on, or it's something we deny. Saying, I'm not racist, is simply declaring that you deny your own biases and refuse to work on them. The core message of Percy Jackson has always been that difference of strength. That difference is strength. There is power in plurality. The things have the, the things that distinguish us from one another are often our marks of individual greatness. We should never judge someone by how they fit your preconceived notions. That neurodivergent kid who has failed out of six ki- six schools, for, the, for instance, may well be the son of Poseidon. Anyone can be a hero. If you don't get that, you're, if, you're ups- if you're still upset about the casting of this marvelous trio, then it doesn't matter how many times you've read the books. You didn't learn anything from them. Watch the shows or don't. That's your call. But this will be an adaptation that I am proud of and which and which fully honors the spirit of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Taking the bedtime story I told my twenty my son twenty years ago to make him feel better about being neurodivergent. And improving on it so that that kids all over the world continue to see themselves as heroes at Camp Half-Blood, Rick Leary. So there you have it, everyone. That is Rick's stamp of approval. Now I know, uh, I know what the comments are going to say. Okay, I can already predict it. Because I know the internet. And I, I've already seen them on, uh, on my channel. Okay, I've already seen them. Okay, here's what I have to say. I welcome the open conversations that are not antagonizing Leah or or, or Rick or anyone and are simply coming from the individual experience. I don't welcome politically driven comments that are meant to incite others. And that goes for all sides, by the way. That does not refer to anyone in particular. That goes for everyone. And I will keep that same tempo no matter what. I don't care what side you're on. I will always stand by my word. And my word is that I want this channel to be a place for open discourse that is not politically driven, that is not derogatory, that is not anything in any way. I just want this to be a place where people can communicate with each other, have that conversation. Let's converse. Let's not use ad hominems. Let's not call each other names. Let's not use politically skewed words. Let's just have a conversation. I will not delete comments. I will not moderate the comments. I'm open to having a conversation. I'm not open for you assuming my stance in any way. And I am also not open to you or anyone talking about Leah or any of the cast in a negative light. Especially since we, again, have not seen anything that has to do with the show. And I do agree with Rick. I also agree with other comments. Whether you believe this is the true adaptation of Percy Jackson or not, that's your that's your opinion. And you're welcome to have that opinion. 
so long as it doesn't come from a place of, well, a place where it's meant to do harm, right? And I also want to share um, one more thing. I have to actually find it because I, I wasn't sure I wanted to share it. Um, let me go over to uh, Twitter. Um, where is it? Um, I'm trying to find... Is it this? Okay. I think it's this. I don't know if this is right. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Okay, so... Apparently... Nope. Apparently, my TikTok has been banned. And so, yeah, so my TikTok has been banned. And someone banned the account, and I now have no more TikTok. So I guess all the people that wanted to, like... You know, all the people that kind of did not want me to be Annabeth or something, they literally... Okay, that is not what I thought it was, although that is also unfortunate. I was trying to find something else. That's not the one that I was looking for. Uh, oh, I think it's this one. Annabeth and things that I really, really... Wait, is it the same thing? No, it's not the same. Let's go with this one. Okay, this is the one that I was looking for. And thank you guys for saying that I'm gonna be Annabeth and things and stuff. I really, really, really love you guys so much. I really appreciate it. To whoever is hating, stop doing that. Like, I mean, I know you think that it's gonna hurt me though. It's not. It You're just wasting time. I'm still confident in myself. Everyone else is confident. Everyone else is happy for me. So don't don't, don't, don't try to bring me down. It's, it's not going to work. And thank you guys for saying that I'm going to. And there you have it. There is, there's also that. Look. I get it. I get it. I really do get it. But there is a line. Okay, there is a line. And when that line crosses into... Hurting others, hurting people, whether you mean to or not, that is wrong. On all sides. And I like this quote right here. And by the way, these criticisms have come from across the political spectrum, right and left. Period. Because I do think, I do think that there are people all across, who, have, who across the board, have taken this in the wrong directions that this is meant to be. And I think, I think we just need to move on. At the end of the day, that's what I think. I think we should move on. <laughs> But what do you think? Feel free to comment down below. Just remember... Be nice. <laughs> Just remember to be nice, okay? Come on. I want this to be open converse, an, op an open conversation. I don't want this to turn into a hate thread. I don't want to turn this into anything else except a conversation. You guys know what a conversation is, right? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh boy.